Glory be to God. One of the most unusual stories in the Bible is a story about a man. And I'd like to borrow from the man's life and preach a little bit from his life so that we can pick up one or two lessons. Hallelujah. In our quest for evangelism, in our quest for bringing the gospel of Christ to the nations of this world, please lift your right hand and let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we celebrate and thank your holy name. We are for your goodness. We are grateful for your mercy. Without your mercy, where would we be? Father, we stand under your grace and say, let your grace come upon us and let your power be seen upon us. Let your glory be released upon us. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. There was this man who lived in the early beginnings of humanity. His name is Noah. Now, Noah is a special man because by the Bible record, he took over from Adam, in a sense, as the father of the entire human race because the flood in his day wiped out all humanity and left him to be the father of the human race that will continue on the face of this earth. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, Adam was the father of the human race, but everybody was cleared out except Adam and his sons and his descendants and his sons' wives. So at the end of the day, the human beings on the face of this earth up to now, in a sense, they all came from Noah because everybody else was wiped out. Now, it is important to know the beginnings of this man Noah so that we can pick a few lessons from his life. And the interesting thing about men like Noah and the early people in the Bible, some of the people might have seen Adam, some of the early people, because Adam lived for 930 years after his iniquity or sin, and therefore he became visible to the successive generations for some time before those being born will not know Adam, but some who were born knew that Father Adam lives here. He is there with his wife Eve. They began everything. If you want to know God, go and ask Adam because he saw God face to face and spoke to God face to face. And <clears throat> Genesis chapter number five. Thank you, Lord. Verse number 28, when Lamech was 182 years old, a son was born and he begat a son. King James is better than all the other versions. Hallelujah. 
He begat a son. You can't get begat anywhere else except King James. Glory be to God. Verse 29, hallelujah, he begat a son. And he named him Noah, saying, This one shall bring us relief and comfort from our work and the grievous toil of our hands due to the ground being cursed by the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. May it be your portion to bring relief and rest from every toil and bitterness and pain of humanity. When we talk about evangelism, we are talking about taking away the pain of humanity, the yoke of the power of sin, disease, oppression of demons, and other kinds of infirmities, the lifting of these yokes and the bringing of relief and rest and salvation. He named him Noah saying, this one shall bring us relief and comfort from our work and the grievous toil of our hands due to the ground being cursed. I know all of us have a name. Some of us have a name. We have English name. Some of us have family name, local name. Some of us have both. Nowadays, many people have too many names. English name, local name, family name, day of the week name. Before said name, mother's name, attached to father's name, we are over-identified. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. But in the days of Noah and Co., they usually had only one name. So all the people were, you, they, their name is just Cain or Abel or Noah or Methuselah. Everybody just had one name. The people were too few. There was no need to identify them so specifically. If you just say one name, everybody knows who it is. But the names that they carried often had meaning and often had an explanation. And something happened in the days of Lamech that gave him a prophetic edge and a prophetic anointing. So when his son was born, the spirit of a prophet came upon him as a daddy. And as a daddy, he had to give his son a name. And when they came to ask him, what will we call this young boy that your wife has given birth to? Ah, the man, the old man, Lamech, cleared his throat and said, he shall be called Noah. And immediately he began to explain the name he's giving to the boy because he's speaking a prophecy over the life of the boy. I speak over your life by the grace of God. May your life carry a meaning and everything time you are announced or spoken about uh, may there be a meaning uh, attached to your life he said you can call him Noah but that's not just a name that he will put behind his exercise book in school that's a prophetic mission and commission that 
God has sent him into this world to perform. I thank God that he sent Reverend Stephen Stanley into this world with a commission and with a mission. You are not hearing what I'm saying. I'm trying to tell you that everyone here today may know that there is a mission and there is a commission. It is not an ordinary thing, but it is a divine purpose. By that time, a lot of people have been born and as they are born, glory be to God, definitely Cain will know his father, Adam. Abel knew his father, Adam, till his, he was killed. And then Seth knew his father. Then the grandchildren knew their grandfather, Adam. There was a connection back to Adam for several generations before a generation was born that had no connection to Adam. How did they know God? Adam was still alive. Eve was still alive. They had a story to tell their children and their grandchildren that you may be on the face of this earth, but you are not the one who created yourself, but the God who created us and we gave birth to you, that God revealed himself to us and we know him and we knew him and we walked with him and we talked with him and he worked in our life and if you will go far then connect to this God that made your father and made your mother, you need to connect to him. That is why Cain took an offering to God. That is why Abel took an offering to God because Adam and Eve were still alive to point their children to the God of heaven. Somebody here today, I have a feeling that the grace uh, is coming upon your life. You will point your children uh, to the most high God. Uh, you will have a testimony to share of God to your children uh, that will make your children bring God, an offering of their lives, everyone that is here today, because of the knowledge of God that is in Reverend Steve and Stanley, we are here to give our lives to God, to give our best to God, because our spiritual fathers have taught us about the God uh, that saved their souls uh, and the God that delivered them uh, out of troubles. Uh, they didn't just appear. They came out of God. Uh, their story is not a human story. It is a divine story. It bears the handwriting of the almighty God. Uh, this is a letter written from God uh, written by the ink of the Holy Spirit uh, upon the tablets of the hearts of men uh, and the way these men uh, have known God uh, is a blueprint for you and I that we also may walk with the God uh, that they walked with uh, and the God that took them out of nothing uh, and made something out of their life will also take you out of nothing uh, and make something out of your life. I have a feeling that tonight God will raise some greatness uh, out of somebody today. 
God will create some purpose uh, out of somebody's life. Uh, somebody here, your destiny will begin to shine. Uh, your future will begin to shine. Uh, God's purpose for your life uh, will begin to shine. Uh, I feel something here. Somebody receive grace uh, and receive power. Shout yes unto God. Oh, Lord, please be seated. Day Lamech had this boy and he said something about the boy. Now, some people say their babies are beautiful. I believe they are telling the truth. Hallelujah. There are some women that have a new baby and they say he looks like his grandfather. I believe them. When I see baby, I can't see difference between one from another. But that the women are gifted to see the nose. That the nose is just like his uncle's nose. But when I see baby nose, I see it as equal to every other baby nose. <laughs> Glory be to God. The, the, the reason is they can see the forehead. So this is his father's forehead. But me, I just see a very small forehead that must be avoided for some time so that mother can take care of him till he's big. When he's big, then I'm happy. Hallelujah. When they are small, I'm afraid. I say, how can I hold him? What if I don't hold him well? I get afraid. Glory be to God. Uh, can some men say amen with me? Or I'm alone. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. But Noah could look at the boy and speak over a baby's life. When the baby has done nothing, he hasn't gone to school to show that he is clever at one plus one, or he's good at mathematics, or he's good at geography, or he's good at biology. He's a complete and a total baby. Nobody can see any potential in him, but God knows all men before they arrive on the planet. And I am glad to announce to you that God knows you before you landed on this planet. Nobody is on this planet because their father and mother just wanted them here. Everybody on this planet is here because God foreknew you and predetermined determined that you should spend time here on this planet. Your being on earth is not an accident. It is a deliberate plan of God. And I came to announce to somebody you are on this earth at such a time as this uh, for a divine purpose. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, uh, the world will not end by pandemic according to my Bible. The Bible didn't say a pandemic will end the world. The Bible said uh, that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in every nation to every kindred to every people and when the gospel is preached then the end shall come troubles may come here and there but God will raise the spirit of Noah's uh, who will bring relief to this earth. Uh, is somebody still here today? May you give the Lord a shout uh, because you are you are a Noah, you are a Noah, you are carrying a purpose. Many of us, our family is crying for a Noah. 
one that will bring relief and rest. Many of us, our nations are crying for a Noah, one that will bring relief and rest. Analysis of current situation is not equal to Noah's ministry. You can tell pandemic, but you may not have the answer to it. But Noah was not born to analyze what is going on. Noah was born to bring answer, rest, and solution to what is going on. I don't hear you at all. It is true. It is true. There can be trouble in Africa. Our leadership may be poor level leadership. But no West must rise uh, that are coming up with solutions uh, and bringing answers. Uh, I don't hear you at all. Uh, that our continent may have different problems. Uh, there may be poverty here and there. There may be wars here and there. But no West must rise. Uh, no matter the condition and the situation, uh, no one will have an answer. I said, no one will have an answer. Can somebody shout yes? So, Lamech said, he named him Noah, saying, this one shall bring us relief and comfort from our work and the grievous toil of our hands due to the ground being cursed by the Lord. This is not an easy prophecy to make. It is the Lord who cursed the ground and he cursed the ground so that man will suffer to eat. But Lamech stood up and said, even if God said that man has sinned and man should suffer to eat and toil and sweat to eat. This boy has a destiny to bring us relief from the toil. He said the devil has taken advantage of the curse uh, and the devil has multiplied the trouble beyond what God wanted. Uh, I came to announce to somebody today that it is not in the hand of the devil to impose any punishment on your life. It is not in the power of human beings uh, to determine where your life should go. God is great in mercy here. And the Bible said, how great are thy mercies, O God. He is God all by himself. And he can choose to have mercy upon whom he will have mercy. Not even our mistake, it guarantees uh, that we should be in trouble because he's a God of mercy and he can be merciful to whom he wants to be merciful to. Paul the apostle said, uh, I was injurious. Uh, I was a blasphemer. I persecuted the church of God. I did bad. I compelled Christians to blaspheme. But he said at the end of the day, by the grace of God, I am what I am. And for this cause and purpose, I obtain mercy that in me first, Christ Jesus will show forth a pattern of all long suffering. I declare to you today, no 
matter what your past holds, uh, the Lord can have mercy uh, and he can superimpose uh, his mercy upon every other thing uh, and give you mercy. Uh, I somebody here today, he said, I am the least uh, of all of the apostles uh, and I'm not worthy to be called an apostle, but for this purpose, I receive mercy. Somebody here today, you are a receptacle of mercy. God's mercy is on your life. Uh, am I preaching to somebody? You are here because mercy, uh, mercy is on your life. Uh, my God, uh, not even the mistakes of your forefathers uh, are able to bring you down. Uh, it doesn't matter if your grandfather was a fetish priest. Uh, God's mercy supersede the error of your grandfather, the error of your father, and the error of your generation. I declare to somebody, mercy is overruling. Mercy is overriding. Mercy, mercy. Lamech believed in mercy. Lamech believed that the God who made the pronouncement against the ground, he didn't really intend for them to suffer the way they are suffering, but God Almighty will raise help. I declare to you today, you are the help God has raised for our generation. The power of the gospel is in your mouth. You are the answer to the need of your generation. Your family will not be in despair. Your family will not perish of poverty or curses. You shall rise up because you are the Noah to bring rest and solace and consolation into that family. I see a community being changed by the power. When no one knows who he is, everything will change. I declare to you today, you carry the anointing and the commission of a Noah. May the power of the Most High rest upon your life. If you believe it, give him a shout of praise. God cursed the ground. I'm very glad about one thing. And see, God didn't curse Adam. He cursed the ground. <laughs> he could have, if he cursed Adam, there will be trouble. But he cursed the ground. Now, even if your ground is cursed, but you yourself, you are blessed. Because God blessed Adam in Genesis 1, 26 to 28. God blessed him. And God didn't curse him, but God cursed the ground. And if you are blessed and your ground is cursed, there is something that can be done about it. Are you still here today? I don't know if you are hearing me. If you are cursed and even your ground is blessed, you are in trouble big time. But if you are blessed and even your ground is cursed, you still can bring about a solution. Are you still here today? Today, may you carry the blessing. May you carry the blessing. Shout yes. No matter the condition of your ground, may the blessing of Jehovah rest upon your life. If you believe it, give him a shout of praise. the ground but the people are not cursed we are capable 
of producing solution and respite for the trouble of the ground because God did not curse us. Glory be to God. He said, my wife pushed out this baby because we are not cursed. But we are blessed and our blessing is still there, unrevoked. I declare to you today, your blessing is unrevoked. The blessing of Jehovah is upon your life. A ah, pandemic cannot stop your blessing. Ah, nothing can stop your blessing. Nothing can hinder your blessing. You are too blessed for anything ah, to stop your blessing. The ground may be cursed, but the people are blessed. Ah, if you believe you are blessed, give the Lord a shout of praise. my god i see people here today you will leave this meeting uh, with the blessing uh, knowing that you have the capacity to bring about correction uh, knowing that you can go into any condition uh, and you are carrying the capacity to bring correction to the condition uh, your condition is never permanent but your blessing is permanent and therefore you will bring a correction to the condition I see some people you will run again you will race again you will be you will carry the power you will carry the gospel you will carry the message of God I see a generation running and not weary oh, walking and not fainting there is power on your life uh, there is an oil on your life uh, you are carrying the Noah blessing uh, are you here today if you believe it shout yes Said, this boy this boy here will give us rest and respite from all of our toil and labor because we are laboring too much because God cursed the soil. And this boy will bring us rest and relief. Hey. May the Lord use you as an instrument of rest and relief. I see a generation, oh my God, uh, if it, it is necessary, gather all the children of your siblings. If they cannot take them to school, you take them to school because if you do it, you are breaking a yoke the Noah blessing means uh, when the trouble is everywhere you are raised to bring uh, respite and rest from the trouble is somebody hearing me today it doesn't matter whatever the others may be fighting over grandfather's house that he left for the children and some are scratching each other but you must carry the Noah anointing uh, and come and build a big house and tell all of them if you want a room just come 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 stop fighting each other come and sleep here because you carry the Noah anointing uh, I don't hear you at all may you carry the Noah anointing uh, bring rest bring respite bring relief uh, are you still here today shout yes don't be irritated by the trouble of people it is your opportunity to bring rest and respite to their toil and to their labor that is how anybody who becomes somebody becomes a somebody 
by being able to carry the trouble of other people. I said by being able to carry the burdens of other people. That is the signature of God. Is the capacity to carry the burdens of other people. If you are kind to people and if you help people in their trouble, I tell you, you can never be forsaken. You can never be a disgrace. You can never be an embarrassment because you carry the troubles of many. Is somebody here and Noah shout yes! So, the father prophesied over his life and 500 years later, nobody can see anything special about him. Those who know his name, they say, well, this is the guy. His father said he will bring rest, but he has not brought any rest. We don't see any rest. It's been 500 years now. I declare over your life, your destiny is alive. Your strength is still alive. What God said about you is still alive. Nothing has been subtracted from it. What God determined over your life, it is still alive. I see somebody rising to perfection. I see somebody rising to achieve the Ayayabo Shada. 500 years have passed, but God has not forgotten what he has spoken over Noah. Is somebody still here today? Shout yes! And he said, in the midst of humanity in the 500 years, men became so wicked that it repented the Lord that he had made man. That's King James English. That means God regretted creating man. <laughs> it repented the Lord that he had made man. The Almighty goes to board meeting and said, the greatest error we made is to make man. <laughs> hey! And it will be the discussion of the heavenly board meeting. What shall we do? This man we made has corrupted himself. It's so bad that angels even are being corrupted from heaven to join him in his corruption. Hey! Because he said, the sons of God took on human form and came to marry women on the earth. Hey! <laughs> the slay queens of that time have scattered the men on the earth and they have graduated to angelic slaying. Hey! 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 So a woman can point and say, I brought this angel down. Makabata <laughs> Basaya. Hey! I made the angel decide that he doesn't want to be an angel anymore. He wants to become a human being for my sake. Hey! Women can be very powerful. I'm telling you. The angel look at himself and said, before I could fly. But because of woman now, I am, <laughs> I am on my two legs. <laughs> Give the Lord a shout. <laughs> Are you still here today? 
Are you happy tonight? If you believe it, say yeah. Don't joke with women. They are very powerful. Ask the angels. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Hey. 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 And now some kinds of new kind of human beings are walking on the earth. Father, angel, mother, human being. They are taller than the tallest. Bigger than the biggest. When they do Olympic games, they win every event. <laughs> Glory be to God. And the whole earth is so full of wickedness that God is sorry for making man. Then you begin to see a wonder in the scripture. But Noah Ah, but Noah, but Noah, but Noah, but Noah found grace in the sight of the Lord. But Noah, ah, I declare to you today, when they write off everybody, but, but, but you will not be written off. Is somebody still here today? But Noah, but Noah, but Noah. His prophecy was controlling his life. All his classmates, his colleagues born in Kotobabi, asylum down with him. All were going bad. But Noah don't follow them. <laughs> All his relatives uh, are becoming more and more wicked. Uh, but Noah's name on him uh, is keeping him on track. And he said, no, I can't follow them. Uh, I was born to bring a respite. Uh, I was born to bring a solution. Uh, I cannot be part of the problem. Uh, I have to be be part of the solution uh, if somebody is able to say yeah may you be part of the solution uh, may you never be part of the problem uh, you will not join the trouble of your family you will be a solution giver you will be an answer giver I see people everywhere providing answers uh, providing solution uh, I see a generation rising from this place uh, and declaring uh, that I carry an answer I carry the gospel I carry an answer I carry a revival I carry the power of the most high God I will never be part of the problem I will be part of the solution if you believe it say yes was different Noah was different Noah was different God said I'm sorry I made man but one man among the men he's different There's something about him that will bring a solution there's something about him that will provoke a blessing. There is something about him that will bring about a change. I see a grace on somebody's life. 
There is something in your life and I prophesy you carry something in your spirit. Ah, uh, uh, my God, how do I know? Because you are in CM, and if you are in CM, you are a child of the vision uh, of bringing relief and respite uh, and bringing the gospel to the nations. Uh, if you are here today, you carry a unique quality the quality of a reformer and a quality of a change bringer a bringer of change may you be a change maker in your day poverty will be erased i declare to you in your day ignorance and darkness uh, will give way to the gospel of light uh, in your time uh, answers will come uh, the suffering of mankind uh, will be brought down uh, and the light of Christ uh, will shine on humanity can I preach it today shout yes and tie up a long story short God said I'm going to destroy everything with water but one man has found grace in my sight <laughs> and the angel said oh God we don't understand this is your soft spot for man. When we angels sinned, you didn't bring any plan of salvation. You left us in our sin. But this new creature you made in the garden, you seem to have a soft spot for him. Now you have made up your mind to kill all of them. We angels are rejoicing that the troublesome people are about to be wiped out. But now you are saying that one of them I hear the Lord declare one of them May you be one with the difference. May you be one with favor. May you be one with acceptance. May you be one with divine grace. Somebody say, I am the one. He said, one of them, the angel said, can we make the rain start falling? God said, no, don't one of them one of them has found grace in my sight one of them one of them don't let the rain start now one of them he said rather tell him i said he should build an ark and his wife didn't find grace in my sight but he found grace in my sight but his grace has fallen on his wife. He, his son didn't find grace in my sight. But his grace on him has fallen on his three sons. And even on his daughters-in-law. His grace is falling on people. I declare to you today. May the hand of God upon your life begin to fall upon others mercy and grace that God placed on you may it bring grace and mercy to your family whatever the devil wanted to do against your family may the grace on your life may the grace on your life arrest it now shout yeah he found grace in my sight let's go and tell him he should build an ark of all the people on the earth they will mock him when he's building it but he won't listen to their mockery 
they will call him a crazy old fool because there is no rain what are you doing with the boat others are building better things you are building boat and there's no water even if you want to build a boat you have to go and build it near water so you can launch it easily but you, you are building your boat in Kokomlemle. Hey! Hey! If you finish your boat, how are you going to get your boat to the Gulf of Guinea and put it in the water? How can you decide, Noah? Are you all right, Noah? I'm full of God. God is on my side. I pray for you. Oh, the wisdom of God fills your life for the things of God. They are foolishness unto men, but it with God. That is the wisdom of God. Are you still here today? He said, my boat uh, will have water you wait and see here i don't have to take it near the sea the sea will come to where my boat is uh, i declare to you today something is coming right to you the power to launch your boat uh, is coming right where you are shout yes shall be launched the water will come don't worry the water will come they say you are crazy you this know why you are crazy he said don't worry the water will come you see the water will come you see the water you come you see when he finished the boat now God told him enter the boat hey Noah park his suitcase something night He and his family are going to the boat. They said, the man is going to live in that thing. He entered the boat. They said, who is going to close the door for him? But Jehovah was behind the door. When he entered the boat, he said, hey, animals start to come into the boat. They said, hey, we told you the guy is crazy. He has filled his boat with lion, tiger, giraffe, all kinds of creatures. Uh, we told you the man, there's something wrong with him. Uh, but God was with him. Uh, the Lord shut the door of the ark. I'm telling somebody something. Your time has come. Your day has come when God is shutting the door for your protection. My God, there can be trouble everywhere, but Noah, the door is shut. The reason why God has to shut the door is that only God can shut that door and make it waterproof. Are you still here today? Shout yes! Oh Lord! And God closes that door and makes it waterproof. And then it starts to rain. And then people start to say, hey, that crazy guy, maybe he knew something we didn't know. And when it didn't stop raining, he said, hey, it's raining, the water is rising. They saw that the more the water came, the more Noah rose. I declare to you today, the trouble cannot stop you. The power of God will raise you. The water was lifting Noah. 
<laughs> when others were drowning, Noah was rising. Noah was rising. Noah was rising. The more the water came, the more Noah rose. Are you still here today? If you believe it, say yes. Indeed, the water rose so much that now Noah was riding on top of mountains and he was looking from the top of mountains over the world because even when the water reduced his ark landed on the top of Mount Ararat <laughs> the thing that troubles others will lift you up <laughs> oh my god i see a people my god uh, it will be said uh, in the midst of pandemic uh, you did more than anybody ever did before you did more you achieved more you built this you did that in the midst of pandemic you didn't go down but you were lifted that up uh, trouble cannot swallow everybody there are some people that trouble give them buoyancy may trouble give you buoyancy the water made no one more and more buoyant <laughs> The more others are begging for the rain to stop. Noah said, the more it rains, the higher my boat is going. You are going higher. 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 Yeah. it all the bible calls noah a preacher of righteousness he held the gospel of his era and he kept preaching it in the midst of wicked people who have made jehovah regret making man noah continued to be a preacher of righteousness he said this is the right thing to do said stop worshiping those idols stop attracting those angels they are fallen angels ladies keep yourself from the fallen angels he kept preaching he kept preaching he kept preaching the gospel of righteousness he kept preaching may you keep preaching uh, may you tell the world uh, jesus died uh, jesus rose again uh, and jesus is coming again if you believe it say yes and another time i would have told you about when the rain subsided and he the lord invited him out of the ark and he came down from the ark put his foot on the earth again when he put his foot on the earth something about noah told him for the bible said and noah built an altar that is what he cared about most his own house has been swept by the water. Everything about his is also equally destroyed by the flood. But when he got down, the first thing he was thinking about is, God must have an altar and we must worship God. Is somebody here? Is there Noah in the house? Is there somebody here that carry the anointing uh, that want to touch your generation? Uh, Noah said, all I need is an altar. I need an altar. He said, boys, you three boys, my grace fell on you. That's why you are alive. You and your wives, 
bring your strength and energy. Help me. Let's lift the altar of God. Before we do anything, let's lift an altar for God. And let's thank God for saving our lives. Let's thank God. Say, I'm not here because I'm so smart. When I was born, I didn't know left from right. But the prophecy came before I was born. And my destiny was established before I came into this world. And my father saw there's something about me to bring rest, relief, and respite. I saw, I declare to you today, you are here because God has chosen your life for better things, to bring rest, relief to many that are suffering, that the gospel of Christ will travel through your life as Noah was a preacher of righteousness, that you will be a preacher of the gospel of Christ. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation of everyone that believes. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein the righteousness of God is revealed from glory to glory. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. I declare to you today, you are a carrier of the gospel. Shout yes! You are a preacher of righteousness. And Noah went to inspect the animals and told all the animals, he said, all of you animals, you have been saved by grace. If grace didn't save me, all you animals would have drowned. So, one by one, all of you must give me a sacrifice for God. <laughs> Goat, give me one sacrifice. Sheep, one sacrifice. Only unclean animals you can continue to live free of trouble. But the clean one must go to God. put the sacrifices on the altar and bent it to God and said, it is because of you that they are here and we will return to you what you have saved. And when he finished doing that, as he bent the thing, God turned to the angel and told them, you know, I told you that this man there is something about him. The Lord smelt a savor. May the Lord smell a savor out of your life. May the Lord smell a sweet savor. And when the Lord smelled that smell of the sacrifices burning, he said, no, 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 no. I shall no more curse the ground anymore. For man's sake. <laughs> he said, it is time. What this boy has done is eliminating curse. <laughs> He's wiping away. The scholars and the theologians have argument about what curse was being erased. Me, all I know is that the boy was taking the curse away. He took, he took a curse away. And he brought a statement from God. As long as earth remains, seed time and harvest. Now you begin to wonder, why would God say that? But if you check the curse, he said the ground will bring forth thistles and thorns. And they were suffering because they plant corn and reap thorns. They are suffering because what they sow is not what they are harvesting. But now God said, because of Noah, what they sow, they will reap it in abundance. See 
time and harvest shall never pass away. Ah, I see grace on your life. What you sow is coming back to you in multiplied fashion. I'm telling you, there are people here, the prayer you have sowed is coming back to you. The goodness you have sowed is coming back to you. The blessing you have shown is coming back to you. Wherever you are, rise on your feet and declare, it's coming back. 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 coming back it's coming back Noah seed time will now be followed by harvest the time of the thorns and thistle is over but now as long as earth remains seed time and harvest and people remembered his name and said, Indeed, he has brought respite. Our ground is no more bringing us thorns. When we sow corn, we are harvesting corn. No more thorns. I declare in your life today, may every negativity disappear now. Shout yes. And prayer one, prayer one. Can we pray for one minute? Are you ready to pray for one minute? Are you ready to pray for one minute? We are declaring today, let there be rest and relief. May our life carry the gospel of righteousness. May we carry the Noah anointed. May we carry the grace. And may our life bring rest and relief. Clap your hand and pray, 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 pray. Mata maya daba ya daba haya. Manta la 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 ba ba tamahanda. Ya ba tamanda la 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 ba sanda haya. Ya de la 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 yoshaya. Mata ba sanda ba ba da ba sanda. Ya bete keri mata tasaya. Hey, kaba tamahaya. Rabata mandala, Rabata mandala, Rabata Rabata mandala, Rabata mandala, Rabata mandala, Rabata mandala, Rabata mandala, That God's purpose for your life will be established. Everybody was dying, but Noah was surviving. Because there was a purpose on his life. May the purpose of God over your life. 
begin to supersede every other thing and i declare to you you are equipped with solutions for noah was equipped with answers and solutions he had the answer to his generational problem i declare to you the answer you carry must go to your generation the answer is the gospel clap your hand and pray that you will carry an answer. <laughs> And pray that you have ever prayed before. Kapata Pasanaba. I see a generation. Yapata Kadanaba. Carriers of power. Carriers of water. Elabata Pasanaba. Lift your hands for a moment. Listen, I could see those who pastor same churches. In the years to come, some are standing here. They have no idea about it. But God's hand is locating them. God, the millionaires that will make everything easy. The people who can pick a checkbook and sign a dollar check, genuine, million check. They are here tonight. Noah was carrying something. And tonight you are carrying something. Your family will never be embarrassed because you are carrying something. Your country will not be embarrassed because you are carrying something. <laughs> Africa will not be embarrassed because you are carrying something. <laughs> hey, I pray for somebody today. Jesus. Jesus. My God. My God. Lift, lift your hand for a moment. One, two, three. Four to my left, I saw on the fourth row. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Makadiba Arosi Matar Kabiri Adosa Adiri Imata Karkahia Sastima Andoria and Demi Adori Kideri Ibata Sutaria row four, five, and six, and seven, and Eight. I just saw something begin to move and then the Lord said out of the people you are pointing at I am raising I am raising a generation of victory and of power their family will see answers and solutions I declare to you today you will be a an appointment uh, and never a disappointment uh, the power of God uh, is working in under Boshaya Batari under Basaya yes yes he told me that it's like a cloud he's brought a cloud uh, a cloud is settling, a cloud, a cloud is settling over 
on my left hand side it's like a cloud a cloud is just settling over settling over under bataria under bahaya this thing is spreading it's a cloud there's a cloud on the fourth row a cloud on the fifth row a cloud on the sixth row and it's spreading is spreading ushers if you look now you will see that cloud is going up that cloud is moving i can see about the 12th row the cloud is just spreading and spreading it's spreading it's spreading it's spreading it's spreading it's like a cloud 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 cloud it's like a cloud a cloud of glory a cloud of glory the voice of the Lord said they shall deliver they shall give birth they shall produce they shall reproduce anything that blocked productivity is lifted now and now they shall reproduce they shall give birth spiritually and naturally the animataya and nirikimata and abahaya something is happening to many women that are standing in the zone that the power of god showed me i don't know why but uh, god is going to begin to use many women the anointing is coming uh, on many elizabeths and many mary you will carry the power carry the power the power you will carry 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 the power every someone is it's it's a couple one yourself one yourself yeah Ampara <laughs> Yeni na ya tusa unya mikasi ya kafu o yesi na ya tu ya frisa one tit eko shada tete ya kropo o kana ya la chacha one ya sa fuya. Oh, I am para. Oh, yeah, me can see it. Can I feel the trust on this place? Yes, 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 one is suffering. Suffering. Yeah. One can see. One can see. Yeah. Careful. Yes. Now. Now. Please lift your hand for me. I have a commission to pray for 27 people. I heard it in my spirit. Pray for 27 people. Let them 
carry the anointing of Noah. Let them carry the ointment that brings rest and consolation. Families are changing for the grace of Noah. I see people here tonight discovering wealth and discovering grace Jesus. and discovering unction, discovering an anointing, discovering the power of the Most High. And when I came to stand on my right hand side here, I came here and the oil and the tubes and the pipes began to play. Everybody, let's say, Oh, make us sweet. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yeah, oh, why? Oh, yeah, me, can sing. Oh, yeah, me, can. Yeah, everybody, lift up your voice. Yes, we are. Hey, hey, hey. One more time. Every song. What a city. Hey, you want to pass on your life. Oh, yeah, so far. Won't you suffer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Won't you make a sweet? Yeah, comfort. Yes, sweet. Hey, hey, call up. Yeah, freeze. Won't it? Hey, sweet, sweet, yeah, come on. We are suffering. Turn it up on me, no. Yaka. Yes, she. She ra. Hey. To. Oh, we say, say. Yadawa. She. Yadawa. 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 Yadawa se ya wa ni ya ra ni ya one more time we say yadawa se se ya sata ya ra ni ya kopo kopo yeah, oh, lift your voice. Yeah, 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 Hey, one more time. We say, yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Get right in your cup. Get right in your cup. Yeah, 
have wiped out everybody but Noah found grace on my right hand side I believe are preachers so I'm, and their wives so I'm not too sure but I could see seven men and women ah that Grace is locating under uh, Bahia. That's apostolic grace, uh, pastoral grace, evangelistic grace, teaching grace. Uh, ah, that's a grace uh, that is falling upon uh, your life. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, let there be grace, let there be grace, let there be grace. Somebody help the lady ushers quickly, 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 quickly. Ah, ah, ah. Mega churches are coming forth. Oh yes, look at it now. An unusual anointing uh, is falling on many people. Jesus. An unusual grace uh, is falling on many people. Ah, that church is multiplying. That church is ah yeah yeah. It's with, ah yeah, I have the oil. Who 
Ula Marakataya Anda Bahaya Ireba Samahaya Anda Bahaya I see an anointing on one when you were young you were not expected even to live because of what happened to you less than three years of age but today God has brought you thus far and the mega grace of God is appearing in your life Shoo. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. That unction is filling your life now. There's a generation, I'm telling you, you won't struggle for anointing. You won't struggle for prosperity. You won't struggle for anything because grace has taken over. If you went under the power of the Holy Ghost, wherever you are, if no usher brought you, only if you went under the power of the Holy Ghost, if an usher brought you and you went back, come back. If you, no usher brought you, come yourself. You can stand or kneel any time by the This man is getting what he came for. Yes, Lord, that's it. It's a ministry. It's an anointing. Yes, Lord. The Lord is saying some people, they are breaking barriers. They don't care what anybody thinks about them. They are not worried about human opinions. They are breaking through the barriers. And they are demanding the ointment and the oil. I saw them. Ashes, help me. Ah. We have come to draw. Oh. Draw. Ah. Draw. Ah. Draw from you again. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. We have come to draw. We came to draw. 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 Oh, oh, draw. Draw from you again. Yeah. 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 Everybody, we have come to draw. We have come to draw. 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 Draw from you again. Yeah. Yeah. We have come to. We have come to. Draw from you, oh God. Draw from you, draw, say, draw from you again. Oh, God. yeah. Hey, yeah. we have come to draw. We have come to draw from you, oh God. Draw from you, God. Draw from you, draw from you again. Hey, for we have come to draw. We have come to draw. Draw from you, draw from you, say, oh, draw from you again, oh, yeah, yeah, we have come to draw, we have come to draw, draw from you, God, draw from your well, oh, draw from you again, oh, yeah, we have come to draw, we have come to that's from your well, that's from your well, jump from you again. Yeah. 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 Father, we have come to we have come to jump from you, jump from you, draw say, draw from you, draw from you again, draw from you again. We have come to draw. Draw from you. Draw from you. Draw from you. Draw from you again. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have come to draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Draw from 
idea that his prophecy will make him the father of humanity that exists upon the earth. From Noah and his three sons spread all humanity over the globe. You are getting more than you bargained for. 
Anama yete morosi nama tatama haya. The Lord, the Lord went to your town. Oh my God. We followed the Lord all the way to Navrongo. We went into the town. We went to where you come from. And the Lord said, he's bringing change. Fruitfulness and change is coming. Listen to me. I have a minute and I'm out of your way. But in my spirit, I heard. Mama, that's an oil on your life. <laughs> For obvious reasons, we can't touch people. But I believe the cloth, the napkin will carry power. And Bahaya. And la 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 baba. Ah. And Ah. 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 Mama, mamas in the front here. Whatever you want, receive it. Uh huh. Look at it. It's spreading here. He's spreading. He's spreading. Oh, watch, 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 watch. Watch, 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 watch. He's spreading his power on mamas and daddies and. Oh, look at it. It's just spreading. It's spreading. Yes, to my left hand side. Sir, that's on you, sir. It's on. It's going there. It's going. Oh. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Mm. Shabba, ba, 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 